Hi everyone, this is Evelyn coming here with a DIY. And before I get into what I'm about to share with you, which is beautiful, um, it's a, a wall decor that I made out of canvas. And um, I know there's a couple of people out there that likes ideas and you know they budget um, doing something nice, you know, for your house, for your apartment, whatsoever. You want something that you had have, have you know have people think that you went to Piers One, the Home Goods, because they do sell something like this in there, and you, I, I can tell you the price is unbelievable. But what I'm about to share with you on this type of particular product, we as we all know that this candle thing comes from the Dollar Tree. You know the mirror, uh, the glass mirror on the on the candle section is also a dollar. Now the canvas on Dollar General, that's the one of those stores that has dollars and up. I paid, I think this is an eight by something. I don't remember the size, but I paid two fifty. Um, if you decide to go with Michaels, sometimes they have that great stuff where you buy three for this certain amount of money, and then you can use your coupon. That comes out too. So the only thing that didn't come from Dollar Tree is the canvas and this material that I'm about to share with you, which I love so much. Um, the name of that, where I put the material, I have to put it on the description because I can't remember it. It's something with, I think it's old crap. I'll put that down. So like that, if you're interested in this material, it's a beautiful, matter of fact, this material is a runner. It's one of those table runners that goes across and they like 13 and a quarter inch wide this runner and it goes long across to 69 inches long so you can get out of it depending what you're looking for you don't have to be this particular one but if you see something that you like like a runner and you want that to be your wall decor this is the best way what I'm about to share with you but like I said before I begin um, I just want to give you guys an FYI I'm going to be out of YouTube for at least a month nothing serious I gotta take care of some business and I should be returning back on you to the end of May so there's gonna be a little big gap um, for those that you know watch my channels so if you're wondering where am I I'm you know I'm be here but just things that I need to take care of. and hopefully if God's willing I'll be back in the end of uh, May and doing back to some tutorials and DIYs and skincare you know all that and I still haven't finished telling you guys this beautiful you know all the flowers I know I've been saying it for the longest I just want to show you one thing too look how pretty this thing is I made this uh, it, was, it was just a regular round dolly and I think you guys got an idea uh, how to make this but for those beginners this would be my next tutorial that I will definitely show. There's so many things I have in mind. I just don't know where to start because I keep on jumping in. So I got to stop saying that my next tutorial is going to be this and, not, and then it doesn't because I change it to something else. So forgive me. All right. So let's start again. Oh, by the way. Th okay. This is my two set that goes to my kitchen. Now this side is, I'm just going to give you the size so you should know what I'm talking about because I, I made three. One big one, one small one. So this is a 12 long. So I say this is a 9 by 12, this canvas, right? So I'm going to put this one to the side and I'm going to show you the big one, which I have in the middle. Here goes my, I'm got upside down. This is my big one here and this size is 12, 12, 12, 12. 12, 13, 14. So that's 14 inches wide by, this is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 15 by 18. So it's it's pretty big. And I what I did here, I put um, the two candles. I didn't use the mirror because I, I didn't want it to be too much. But you see this beautiful um on spoon flour this is handmade by the Dollar Tree those little silver spoons so I created a nice flower effect if you guys are interested I definitely would do a tutorial 
but if I do, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna show you different colors, um, different ways of color that you can you can make it look really ventures, you can make it very artsy, it's up to you. But hopefully this will be in one of my tutorial. Okay, so let's get started because this is gonna be very hopefully it'll be simple and fast. So because I have all the materials ready. So this is the canvas. This is the this is the canvas that we're using, and let me see the size. I should have gotten this. Did I same size twelve? I think it's the same size as the other one. Oh, this is a twelve by twelve. Okay. Now, this is I'm gonna use because I don't have no other runners, so I'm gonna since I want to add this because I think this will look nice also in my um, bathroom because my bathroom is black and white and silver. And the one that I just showed you in my kitchen, because my compliances is also have a lot of stainless steel, so it really coordinate with that. It, it looks so pretty. Matter of fact, in the end of the video, like I always, I would definitely put a picture, you know, hang it on my wall so you can actually see what it looks like. So I'm gonna take this, like I said, this this camp this um, runner here. It's like a weathery look type, so pretty. So what I'm gonna do now. I'm going to glue it down to my canvas. This is a ton. This is so great when you want to uh, do it like a nice little frame because I think canvas is in now a lot. Sometimes you can't find what you're looking for, but I think by any material, make sure the material is kind of thick. You can do it. You can make it work. Honestly, you can. So I'm going to flip this here because I want to. Um, cut it down I usually don't cover my edge which I'm not because the other one I didn't because I don't maybe I would this time because it's longer the other one I didn't do it I'll do this one okay just want to make sure that I got if I'm gonna go longer matter of fact I'm not because the two ends okay so I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna draw a line so where I could cut it went over that's okay I don't know how far I am here but I'm just gonna draw it anyway and one more on this side okay so like I said the only thing that didn't come from Dollar Tree is the canvas and uh, um, and the um and uh, the, the material that we are using but the canvas you can already get in cheap. Dollar General, you can. It runs from I think from a dollar fifty the small ones, and I think the most expensive one, and that's the real big one, five dollars. You can't go wrong. So I'm going to cut this down, and um, I just thought of something because if I cut it, then it's gonna it's not gonna overlap. So I'm going to do is I probably going to. See, I don't care too much on the side because I like you can either paint it you can do anything to it okay now let me see before if I want to cut this off because I just realized that when I outlined it if I wanted to overlap on the edge which I know my top is not going to be doing it it's going to look like this and I think that's okay. I'll do it that way. Because who's going to look from the top and to the bottom for real? Alright, so now I'm going to do is, because now i got this all nice straightened out. Let me see back there. Okay. Okay. Since the line I already have, I'm already going to glue that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue stick. And make sure that when you're ready to wrap this up, you want to get a nice tight fist. Fit is what I'm saying. And I'm running out of glue stick. Great. Not now. Yesterday I was working on the project. Ah. Okay, let's try this again because I don't want it to. You know how glue stick is. Usually fabric glue works good also. Just want to make sure that I get it all over. Okay, so here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best 
I'm going to do one side and then I'm going to pull it because I want it to get a nice stretch and then I'm going to go over it. And then I'm going to do the same thing here, I'm trying to stretch that out and just overlap it. Like I said, when you work with um, glue stick, you got to work a little quicker. I should have used my fabric glue because it gives you enough time. But for video's purpose, I wanted to do it quicker. And this is what you're going to get. See, nice and tight. Let me tell you something. Even if it's a little loose, because remember, it's hollow in the middle. Just so keep in mind, if you want to... If you want something hard service, you always can cut a chipboard, measure it inside, and just put it there for the meantime, so you have enough time to press that down, whatever uh, you decide to use in your middle. So that would help. So now you see this here. You don't have. For me, I'm not peeling that off. I want a little left, so I'm leaving it just like this. Now, if I recommend that you do use your E6000 in your um, glue stickers, you definitely want to get a nice tight because this is going to be hanging up in the wind and in your wall. So I'm going to go right ahead and use some of my E6000. And then I'm going to come with my glue stick. And instead of going by student in square, I decide to do like a right triangle. I'm trying to make sure that's in the middle. So I'm going to flip it over because remember we have that hollow. So I'm just going to rub this down. I think this is a really, really pretty look. A lot of my friends, when they come over, they can't believe that I made that. They always ask me, oh my God, I love it. What store did you get this? I want to lie to them and tell them I bought it in Home Goods, but then they'll be going to Home Goods and start searching for something they're not going to find. So, I'll be honest with you, that's how I made them. I just want to check them sometimes. I like to test people out, and so it, it kind of gives me a big compliment. Oh, then you know what I'm saying? I could pass this for Pier One All Goods. All right, now we're going to take our candle, and I'm just gonna. The only problem, I'll be honest with you, you are going to get a little messy here because it's a it's a very thin thin um, pole. So you're definitely going to get a you're going to get some, but you know what? I recommend don't. I mean, if you can wipe it off right away, wipe it. I'm going to try to use my fine um, glue stick. You know what? Let me try this. I didn't, for the other ones, I didn't do the E6000. So, you know what? I'm going to try the, um, the only problem is I have to wait for this to dry up. Like I said, guys, this is a fast DIY. Besides me talking, because I just want to inform you that I'll be out of YouTube for almost a month. But definite coming back to you guys in the end of May. Hopefully with some other great tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to put it right here. You see how it, um, it smear? So what's my Q-tip? i just take a Q-tip and alcohol because alcohol... Oh, let me close this up. Because alcohol is the best thing that cleans out any sticky stuff you know those um every um candle see they carry the label in the bottom i'm serious guys if you spray with a little bit of some alcohol you, you it's it, it, it's well to me it's so easy if i want to perform it it probably won't work because you know when you perform something on a channel it makes you always look stupid so oops you got something here you see how it just oh, i'm making more of a mess told you that's how it is let me try the paper towel yeah, paper towel works faster let's see okay now I'm not gonna show it to you 
holding it up because like I said um, E6000 it takes time for it to dry up and uh, this is exactly what you're gonna look um you're gonna get i'm telling you, it's beautiful and i'll definitely give you the name of where i bought this runner because i'm hoping they have other materials and if they don't i'm gonna show you guys you're gonna think i'm crazy but i have and i just i just move you guys so i'm gonna put what i made put it to the side because i just want to show you guys something because i'm into so much canvas oh look I'm sorry I'm sorry I got you okay I'm into so much into canvas you see this bag I can't I think it's it fit like a king side mattress no kidding I can't I bought this about six seven months ago and this is gonna be the first time that I'm actually open up the bag to make my own canvas and this material is the exact material that you get the canvas that I just work on it's the same material look at this and I have loaf of them so I'm gonna try to do my own canvas um, and then also cut out some nice materials out of this make some flowers out of this so I'm hoping to do some fun stuff with this I have I'm telling you I think it's made me even larger than a key side mattress I can't remember if I find it where did I order it I'll also will link that down below um let me see what else because i think this is it i just wanted to share you this short beautiful diy where you can either give us a give or you want you have a wall that you don't know what to do with it i think that's a beautiful idea um i didn't put all my flowers in here but this here oh i gotta cover my alcohol look how pretty guys and these are all from dolly's that I made hopefully this is a little little one so hopefully this will probably be and I don't I can't promise my next video and I can't promise what I'm gonna have next so I'm gonna stop saying that because I notice when I say that I never stick to what I'm going to make oh just so you know too I was going to use this one look how pretty this is and I also I think I ordered this in wish it's supposed to be a pillowcase uh, and the pillowcase, I think it was an 18 by 18, maybe more. Yeah, around 18 inches by 18 inches. And it's so, I was going to use this as my canvas, which is not too late because I'm going to use it. But since I needed one more frame with that material because I want to put it in the bathroom, that's why I decided to share that with you. But just so you guys know, and look at the back of it. This is the back of, the, of that front that I just showed you. And this is also canvas. It's I love this material because you can also make some pretty, pretty flowers out of this also. So there's a lot of options. You got a lot of options to use. What do you want to use in your canvas? And I hope that when you do and you decide that you want to make it, please share. And uh, for those newbies, the new subscriber, thank you so much for um, subscribing to my channel. I I went to the bottom of my heart and for those that uh, happen to thump over to my um, YouTube please 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 subscribe hit that black notification button and um, I guess that's about it I hope you enjoy this and thank you very much for stopping by